welcome. Hello everyone else. Welcome back to Morrowind. Come on, Morrowind. Load up. Come on, Morrowind. Load up. You know, everything about my computer seems a little slow the last couple of days. Look, look at that load time. Oh my god. I better check to see how full my R drive's getting. Because this is... Also, why am I not able to skip this? Uh, excuse me? Do I have no keyboard input? What's going on? My keyboard isn't inputting. It's lit up. The lights are on, so it's plugged in. Bloody hell. Let's see if it works. That was really strange. Did my escape key just quit working? Oh, my escape key's fine. Oh, thank god. Nice. Okay, the spike looks dumb. Holy smokes, into the options. Audio. Wham, 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 wham. God, what the name of god. Is that like a separate slider? Master doesn't affect music or something? Like, what is the deal with that? Murder. It's just murder. Return. I should probably leave that in hardware mode. I'll test it next time. I always hit the wrong key for running. Okay, we're pretty good loadout. And we have a mission from the Fighter's Guild. South Wall and Balmora. Let's go. South Wall, eh? Oh, look. Well, let's go find Sotild. Eh, <laughs> eh. Where's Sotild? Lucky lockup. What's this? Council Club. We'll just keep going. We'll find a house labeled Sotild, or else we'll start looking in the lockup in the Council Club and stuff. We'll just find out. Drag Brogol. I could have used more detail on this mission, you know? Southwall Corner Club. Like, is that what they mean? We're gonna try the Southwall Corner Club first. So we can find Satild. Satild. Hey, Satild. So, we're gonna have to hit some persuasion. If you have a question, I'd be happy to answer it or try. And now, so. Code book. So we're gonna hit them with a whole bunch of persuasion here. Let's hit them with the 10 gold. Let's hit them with the 10 gold. Oh, that didn't work. Let's hit them with 100 gold. That worked. Alright, let's try the codebook question now. Codebook. Look, wet ear, I'll tell you what's going on. This codebook has dirt on the Kamana Tong and the Skuma trade. As soon as we get it figured out, we take it to the authorities and take over the trade ourselves. The Fighters Guild works for the Kamana Tong since Sioring Hardheart took over. You have to decide where your loyalties lie, wet ear. Oh. Really? Okay, come on a tongue. Come on a tongue is the old criminal syndicate here in Morrowind, and as everyone else here knows, there's a gang war between the Thieves Guild and the Come on a tongue. In Balmora, the Come on a tongue hangs out at the corner club called the Council Club. They're not very nice people, watch yourself. There's Guild. It's on Trade Street, 8 is Fire Hour. Oh. So, price on your head. If there's a price on your head, oh, price on my own head, I get it. Ah. Uh, yes, this is South Wall. Ah. Uh, wait a minute here. The war between the Thieves Guild and the Kamonaton. Well, I don't have the bloody code book. Can I rob her of it? And just kind of make things easier for myself by doing that? I think I can get a sneak on up here? <laughs> Not bloody likely. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Yeah, don't look over your shoulder for a minute, lady. Yeah, uh, you know? I'm just not even on this table, okay? Like, Okay, we're supremely not gonna get a sneak on. What about right in front of her? Can we sneak right in front of her? Can we sneak up to her? Let's sneak over here. There's more people up here. Forget it. What are we gonna do? Uh, I have a good idea. Let's go to the council club. Let's have a little chat with these people. Yeah, let's walk there. <laughs> we're quite serious right now. We are quite serious right now. I think we may empty that place of bodies and then go have a chat with the fighters killed about who they now work for. Where's that council club? Ah, we're going in there. There we are. It's right beside us. Ah, oh, hello, council club. Mm -hmm. Not very nice, eh? Is their sword fully charged? 
Is our sword fully charged? Bloody no. That's disappointing. Would have liked our sword to be fully charged for this particular little excursion. In we go. Hey. All right, stranger. Tell me what you want. Services or okay. I'm gonna talk to him about South Wall. That's where the thieves' guild scum hang out. Kimono Tong. We're just a society of businessmen. We're Dunmer and we're proud. We're tired of seeing Morrowind run by outsiders who understand nothing about Morrowind. We're tired of trying to explain this over and over again to ignorant outlanders. You're not building a good case for your own survival, buddy. How many we got here? Five. Plus maybe an extra two in other rooms. Ooh, they do not like us. Okay, are we just gonna do this full on? We'll get reported as crimes, though, eh? Yeah, we'll get reported as crimes if we do this full on. Oh, we can't get a sneak in here? There we go. Wow, man. That's surprising. What do we got here? Cerdelic brandy. Worth a buck. I'm taking it. And what do we got in here? A bunch of stuff. Just stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got any more stuff? Oh, got more people. Got more doors. My trail. Thirith. Locked door and a regular door. Bonk! Slammed the door into her. Okay, we got a little room here. Oh, have a look. You know, these people have not made themselves my friends, so... Oh, lock level 75, they're not messing around with that, eh? Hey, this chair's all falling down. Drunk fools. I don't think I can pop a 75, but we'll get the master's pick out and see if it will try it. We're gonna have to find some more of those. Mmm... Maybe we should have got a mission from the Thieves' Guild to actually do this. I don't think we can pop this log. I think we're just going to waste our pick. Oh, come on. <laughs> pop it. Pop it. I want to know what's in here. Nope. Not going to happen, eh? Alright, F9. We're not using up our pick on that. Alright, we're going to... I guess we're going to... I guess we're going to... Basically... I guess we're gonna... Seems a bit crazy, doesn't it? Hello, lady bro. Could we stealth kill this chick? I'm kinda wondering about that. F5. Oh, okay. I don't have a lot of patience for questions out loud. One. Did we get a crime reported on that? Not too sure if we did or not. A little touch and go. I don't think anyone saw us do that. What she got? Iron spark blade, pretty nice. Some other stuff. Expensive amulet, we'll grab that. There's a bunch of picks. Those are handy. Uh, the apprentice ones, I don't know, not such a big deal, but the journeyman ones are a good deal. What else has she got? Okay, well, we're just going to continue on then. Okay, so lock level 50 on that bad boy. Well, let's find out about that, shall we? I think we'll be using a journeyman's pick. And hoping it's not too complex. Man, we're not the best pick lock at this point in our time. Maybe if I aim at the lock it'll help, eh? No, it just changes which speaker the failure noise is coming out of. Come on. Man, we're going to fry off like 10 picks trying to do this. And what's inside? Nothing. Do I have five? Like, really, this is kind of a crazy murder we've done. We could get arrested for this. Nobody's gone hostile. One down. Do we take the bartender first? No, because these guys could have distance weapons. Let's hope Stompy holds up. Oh no, crime has been reported over and over again. Damn, I should have fived after the first murder. Let's do it again. Let's do the first murder again, basically. Crime reported. Hey, we made a critical hit. 
Crime reported. We can't do this. <sighs> we can't do this. Damn it. Whatever you're looking for, I'm sure I don't know how to find it. No, I agree with you. You're no use to me, alive or dead. I need some way of cleaning this place out of the <laughs> filth that inhabit it. The bloody guards are going to stop me. Back to the Thieves' Guild to see. <sighs> Is this the way to the damn Thieves' Guild, or did I just go the wrong bloody way? I'm not sure. Jerga Jerga's. It's Jerga Jerga's house. Okay, no, here we are. Alright, let's try and get a mission then. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think... No. Who gives missions for these guys? Man, I'm shaking after that combat. I get persuasion, barter, and training. Jobs or advancement jobs. Habasi wants the key to Nurano Manor. Downstairs manors are rarely locked, but Harasi wants to go upstairs. Andres Nurano has a key. Nurano's servant, Sovor Trandall at the council club, has a key. Okay. Do you sell any master picks yet? Oh, not yet. Uh, How may I hang on. Um, Silver Trandall at the Belmora Council Club. This isn't the Council Club, is it? No, it's the Corner Club. Where's the bloody Council Club? Is that the place I was just trying to? Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm going back there. Also, maybe I can do a little dealing with these people. Um, sad and ashamed that I can't kill them. I'm just that embarrasses me. I should be capable of doing that. I feel bad about it. Let's find this Silvos Lorby. I'll make it quick. I'll make it so quick you can't possibly believe it. Persuasion. Let's admire him. Ah, uh, yeah, he doesn't like that. Let's bribe him with ten. That works well. Let's hit another ten. Nope. Let's hit a one hundred. What? Okay, we may need to retry that approach, but oh no! I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. Ah, oh, why didn't I save? <coughs> There's no point asking questions as to why I failed to do something because I just failed to do it, and that's all there is to it. There's no point asking the reason for the failure merely. Attempt to correct the failure as rapidly as possible. Luckily, these items are close together. There's Dorgal Borgal's house. You know, we could just break into this stupid manor for her and save time on this. Alright, Sugarlips, get the mission from Sugarlips. So. Jobs, around a manor, and journal updated. Let's get out of here. Ah, why didn't I? Why didn't I save? Let's continue pursuing our policy of continuous save. Policy of continuous save, basically. I stopped continuous saving because I figured I wasn't going to get away with that nonsense. I think I actually got away with the first murder. I don't know. The viewers will know because they'll have been watching more closely than me. But Whoa, what did the graphics just do there? That was disturbing. That was disturbing. Okay, Silver Trandell. So, barter. It's like, what, would he just sell it? No, he's got some books. And he's got a couple hundred gold. Um, let's hit the persuasion. Let's bribe him with ten. A bribe, what do you think I am? Bribe him with a hundred. I hear you, Melkor Seven. Okay, so we'll just, now that we're safe's coming properly. Now that we're properly safe's coming, we'll just... Uh, so we've got a chance on the 10 one with him, right? If we peg 10, we've got a chance. No. Okay. Damn it. Do we have to do 100 every time? Or can we just buy the key off him without doing all this foolery? Let's just see. Nurano Manor. That's where I work. Andres Nurano. I work for him. What else do you want to know? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't ask him, eh? Interesting. Alright, so... Is this supposed to be a pickpocket mission? Probably nothing. I have yet to successfully pickpocket in this game, you know? 
but they are just all placed just so that I can kind of get out of their view field. Like, look how they're all facing. So maybe it was meant to be... Maybe I should just kill them all and just pay the fine or whatever. How big can the fine be? Pretty big. I am not getting my sneak on here, man. If I sneak out and sneak in again? No, it's just not going to happen. I'm not getting my sneak on in here. I'm not even close. Can I just take it off him illegally? Let's just find out. Let's just freaking take it. Your crime has been reported. Okay, okay, that is not gonna fly. He has the damn key. What are we gonna do to get it? I'm puzzled. Can we find out some dirt on him? I think we're just gonna have to go with massive persuasion. <sighs> so we'll hit him with a hundred first straight off. We'll hit him with another hundred. And we'll hit him with another hundred. And then can we ask him about the stupid key? Now let's ask him about Narano Manor. For a small consideration I might tell you a bit more. Alright. Alright, but what kind of consideration? I gotta go check my journal. It's to force me to come out of the convo. Um, okay, barter. Key did not appear on the barter thing. Uh, mm, let's see if it's come up here now. Can I just give him money? Like, ask him about Andres Narano now. I work for him. Narano Manor. How do I give him the small consideration? Hmm. Little secret? Ah, uh, no, it's a bunch of talk about House Halalu and they're gonna murder our outlanders in our beds. That's an interesting secret. So there's still a slight bit of figuring here to do. Let's try another hundred gold. Key added. So it just cost us a fortune in money to get it, that's all. Ah, well. It's good to know we can throw money at problems. <sighs> if I could do that in real life, I'd be a little bit better off, wouldn't I? Alright, I got the stupid key. Should I just go use that key? That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Where do you suppose Nurano Manor is? Eh? Hmm. Yeah, I'm quite curious about that. There's Meldor. Okay, that's all that stuff. It's actually a pretty good rack of salespeople in here. Nurano, way back there. Okay, so let's just spin around and head over there. Since we do have the key, but does it use up the key to use it? That would suck. That would suck muy large. So Nurano, gonna be uphill here. Let's run up here. Be one of these big bad boys here. Look how big it is. Oh, maybe that's not it. That's Tiravel, so Nurano's right off over this way. Okay. Yeah, here we are. And What's your story? Star Gel. Welcome to El Balmora, Council Seat of House Halal. Bye. Nurano lock level 60, and a very sneaky little corner to be sneaking in, but we're not very sneaky, sadly. I don't understand why we're not more sneaky. There's no one here. Admittedly, people did see us walk up here. So keys should be automatic. So let's find that key in our thing here. Summoning room, storage. Nurano Manor, it's next to this lesser soul gem right under our money. Let's try to keep that in mind. F5. And we still have it. Yeah, good. Alright, well, let's have a little look in here. Could be a most interesting place. Could be a most expensive place. Annotated Annuad, a few other books. Dawn and Dusk, a few other books. Nothing major there. No redware, a clay pot. Let's head upstairs further. Hope there's no one home. 
Ooh, locked, is it? But the key pops it. Niceness. Shut that door behind us, eh? Yes, we wouldn't want the Thieves Guild to kind of get here ahead of us or anything, would we? Not really, no. So let's just pop our pick out. What do we got? Some Sir Dillicage. Grab that. And some Mastian Sheen, which we'll leave. Uh, trap little chest here. Aha, this was a very good plan. I should have used Apprentice Pro, but actually, well, the journeyman actually failed a couple of times. Let's see if Apprentice Pick will actually tackle a 40 lock. Yeah, it will. Alright, well, we'll burn Apprentice Picks then. You don't get any practice points, though. You don't get any practice points, so it might actually not be worth it. Maybe I should be saved. Oh, there we go. Done. 50 gold. In here, what do we got? Exquisite belts, we'll take. Exquisite pants. Oh, all this stuff is very ours. Nice, man. Got some stuff there. Some stuff there. Got some stuff there. And we're going to lock the closet. Good stuff. More lovely clothing. Let's take it all. I don't think we're overloaded in any, in any way. That's it's actually worth quite a lot. Now let's just see about... Do we go further in? What's this? Uh, nothing special. Why would you lock up crab meat? That's smelly. Okay, so let's just back up to here where we feel safe-ish. We're gonna go ahead and have a look a little further in, but it might be that there's some people home downstairs, so... Might not be the best plan on earth to come down here. Can't really see. Yeah, there's people here, so. Just gonna leave. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. So we did what we came here to do. And now we'll go deliver the key to our friend. But you know what? It cost us quite a lot to get that key. That was expensive, so, uh. It seems to me pretty reasonable that we should go ahead and use it, and uh, is there a clothier right handy? I think there is. What's in here? Eight plates. We're not quite in the right place. Here we go. So that's a bookseller, right? Yeah, bookseller. We don't have any heavy books to sell. There. I thought there was a clothier in town. Outfitter pawnbroker. Well, I mean, we can sell some clothes at those, all these different places, probably, so. Maybe there isn't a clothier here. Kind of thinking there isn't. Well, let's go to Clagius Clanler's place here. See if he'll buy some of this junk. Hey, buddy. We have decent persuasion with him. It's not great. Oh, yeah, he does clothing. He's got 800 gold, so we probably dump a fair bit of this stuff. Um, oh yeah, he's not going to pay us super high prices for it either, so... Whatever. He's got a good amount of money. Yeah, definitely unload these goods here. This is great. What a lovely pile of incredibly expensive clothes that was. And we could probably toss in one of these brandies or two as well. I'm going to say three, actually. I bet you he'll pay for three smoothly. No, that went over, so we'll take one back. And we'll take our traditional couple extra points here. There. Good. Uh, that was a nice bit of money back in pocket. I think we made some money on the deal in the end. And we still have some other stuff to sell. Well, we got that Cyrodelic brandy to sell, so uh, let's go to the pawnbrokers. See if he does booze at the pawnbrokers. Well, I'll, if uh, the scamp sells booze, he'll buy it. So we can always sell to the scamp. Uh, looks like they might. They got bottles of stuff anyway. So do do do. We're keeping all that stuff, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's sell him these brandies. Nice. Out they go. That's great. That takes us right back down to a nice low loadout, so we'll just grab our traditional couple extra gold. And I think we did fairly well out of that little business. 
Whoa, the graphics burned out again during saving. That really bothers me. And I believe this is the right direction to be heading. So we got your key. Um, there might be... There might be some issues with you, you know, getting what you wanted from your special visit you were going to pay, but... That's not my problem. I wasn't told not to use the key. They didn't say, don't you dare go use that key. And honestly, what did they expect me to do with it, right? So. I see we share the same mm. what can I do? Sugar lips. Yeah, I did. Here's your key. Okay. And we got 500 gold. Advancement. We're now a footpad. Nice. Will they barter with us? Nope. It's okay. Uh, that went well. Now, this code book, right? Let's ask about it again. Same thing. You have to decide where your loyalties lie. Okay. This is tough. Does that mean stopping working for the Fighters Guild? Well... Wait... Should I go talk to the Fighters Guild people about this? I think I should. I Since I can't solve this problem by straight raw violence, which is sort of my first instinct... Um gonna see if we can solve it by talking. Boy, what does that say about human nature? Here I am, a peaceful and retiring gentleman, but give me the power and freedom of a video game, and I'm like, well, I think I'll try violence first, and then we'll see. You know, I got, you know, yeah. You gotta wonder about these things. Okay, you and your code book. Code book. The code book. Uh... It's okay. Can I talk to her about the kimono tong? No. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Thefts and disappearances. You took care of that. Okay. I don't know what to do. Uh, I guess I go to Caius and then I bug her off. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Ugh. What can you say to an approach like that? But ugh. Like she's Yeah, I'm going ahead. Oh, I'm going ahead, buddy. Man, we had a hang time of like 40 million there. Eh? I wonder if you get points for that. Caius, you need to help me out with this problem. I need I need wise words of counsel from my mentor here cuz I don't know what to do. So Caius, you skooma sucking old you skooma sucking old secret old I fellow. My mm hmm Come on a tongue. Uh the come on a tongue is Morrowind's native criminal cigarette syndicate. They're tough and ruthless and have connections in the higher ranks of House Lalu. Compete directly with the Thieves Guild and they don't tolerate competition. Compared with the Kimono Tongue, the Thieves' Guild is relatively decent and honorable, certainly less brutal. They don't accept Outlanders as members. Members forget about it. So, hmm, well, we can ask them about the Fighters' Guild. <sighs> Let's just do that. Professional, uh, we know what they are. Perseus Mercius. He personally knows, but he only handles higher ranking assignments. So, ha, ah, gaining. Ha, ah, okay, orders. Did you speak with Mera? Okay, right, we were just going to. We were actually going to go straight to Vivek. Hey, are these worth hauling to sell? Can we carry them right now? Oops, I need my special view here. I'm just gonna grab all this stuff here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We'll fire those off too. I don't care, silver, whatever. 
Oh, right, we're not going to steal his skooma pipe. So we'll leave the secret caldera ledger behind, but speaking of caldera, let's go to the scamp and... Oh, well, let's go to Meldor here, or... Yeah, it's Meldor that's here. Let's go to Meldor here and then go to the scamp if we've got anything left. But I suspect we will. And we did leave that one nice helmet in Aldrune, too. But yeah, let's get some money built up, because then maybe we can pull some enchanting off in... Uh, Vivek, because we have that one good enchanty thing left. One good enchanty thing left. So let's see what Meldor will take off our hands. He likes us pretty well. And let's see what he's got. Anything really interesting? Uh, not so much, really. Not monstrously. Interesting, but nothing major, so... Let's... Uh, he's got 1,500 gold, so that's pretty damn good. Okay, so, yeah, that's all the Dwemer Guild gear dumped to him, and we got a decent price for it. So that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. Uh, do we pick up an extra journeyman's hammer or two? Yeah, let's pick up an extra two hammers. I'm going to keep those in stock, I think. And then we'll take our traditional couple extra gold and dune. Okay, goodbye, and loadout is way up. Are those hammers five each? Three each. Yeah, loadout's way up. Oh, the arrows. It was also the arrows. So we'll just tune up our junk. And it was the arrows. So we're actually going to equip those arrows and just use them up. I don't care. You know, it doesn't matter. We're, they're just arrows. Yeah, maybe they're magic silver arrows or whatever, but they're just arrows and we're just going to use them. Uh, so are we sold out of junk to sell? Pretty much. Let's get to the Mage's Guild and head to, uh, be back right away. Pop. Greetings and salutations. Spare a few moments. Definitely not going to try going there on foot. The phone will probably ring during this episode and I am going to have to take the call, but it'll be a quick call. Can you ask question yeah, can I get to Vivek, please? Thank you. Foosh, done. Hey, what's that? Endoral cure is worth a fortune? What the? Oh my god. Look at this stuff. We're just leaving it everywhere. Let's go to Caldera. Can she go direct? Yep. Sweet. How can I help you? Uh, you can help me in all kinds of ways, but I'm going to go to the scamp and clean him out. And then if there's anything left, I'll go to the armor. So sweet, off to Gorak Manor with us. I always forget which one Gorak Manor is. I like Caldera. It's a nice town. That's Gorak Manor, isn't it? This big one here, right next to the armor, is rather convenient. Yeah, it's like Saleso Central. Let's go upstairs. Hello, Scamp Creeper. Don't want to work. Just want to bang on my drum. What's a Scamp got to do? I like this guy. So he's got some stuff. It's what we sold him. He holds on to it for a while and then gets rid of it. So, Indoral Curas, he gives you full price. He doesn't have full gold today, interestingly. I can't believe he just gives you full price on that. Is there anything else we want from him? I don't think so. So we'll just take that money. Goodbye, thanks for the coin. That's really sweet. We are building up a pretty good pocket load. There are many creatures beyond the cities. I'll tell you, that's the truth. So where's that armor? Whoa, I came out the back door of Korak there, and I am all turned around. Where the hell am I? That's not it. That's a traitor. Gorak Manor is where's a confusing your... place. Where's your uniform? This is Imperial gear. Uh, let's see what Hodlessmon's got on the table today. Look, he's wearing some of the stuff we sold him. That's so sweet. I love when they do that. So he's got nothing special going on that's new. These Templar bracers, man, I, just want, I want to buy them just to see them, but we're not working that way today. But now we're selling stuff. He's only got 1,300 gold. He can't even afford this pauldron. Oh, maybe he can. Maybe he can afford that pauldron. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll take out the gauntlet. Uh, no, that takes him over, so we'll do the gauntlet with him one bloody gauntlet worth half his money 
And I don't think he's got anything that we're buying. And the scamp's out of money. So do we just leave this here? Well, how far over did that take him? Pull that out. Pop that in. It doesn't take him that far over. Seller max offer. Take it and we'll just drop that gauntlet here. We'll just throw down the gauntlet. Ho, ho, ho. And that brings our loadout to a nice level. Let's go back to the Mage's Guild. Nice. Oh, pockets are jingling. 20,000. Wow. Where's your uniform? That's a lot of gold. What do you mean, where's my uniform? I've got nicer Imperial rig than you do, and, well, admittedly I only have half of it. I'd really like to find some more. Anyway, let's get that... Tra that's not the travel platform. Where do you travel in this guild? We'll go to here. Uh, it's around in the back room here, so... Travel off to Vivac. Hmm... There's also other places we've never even been, like Sadrith Mora, Mage's Guild. Let's go to Sadrith Mora and see what it's like there. Look at this place, eh? Scomping. All right, I'm listening. All right. Wolverine Hall, eh? Ooh, well, let's go upstairs first. Interesting, where does this go? Wolverine Hall. And up to Wolverine Hall. Weird. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's probably a really long way down, but what's down there? There's a guard down there, but no door? Okay, I need to go down there. I think we could get down there by just going out the next door down. I'm going to go talk to that guard for a second. I just want to see. Yeah, this will be the same, yeah. There we are. Imperial Archer, I don't know you. What do you want? Okay. Um, that'll be a problem for you, because there's don't see no drains there, so... <laughs> you might end up drowning if it rained for very long and that uh, stone was very tightly made. Imperial Shrine? Wolverine Hall, Wolverine Hall. It's just Wolverine Hall everywhere you turn. Look at this place. The practice yard? Oh man, this is wild. And this Sadrith Mora outside, I guess. Whoa, this place is armor-fied, man. Yo, hello. Your Don't ask me questions like that. What's this? It's an anvil. It's not doing anything for me, though. Is that a chicken? No. I thought there was, that would have been, like, the first chicken. I'm gonna go down this well. Doesn't look like we can. All right, let's head out into town and see what kind of a place Sadrith Mora is. Small. Like non existent? What's this? Dirty Muriel's Corner Club. And is this it? Is this the town? Is Dirty Muriel's and that's the. Oh, these are houses! These mushroom blobs are houses. Okay. Trendrostal's house. So, any traders in town? Let's head up this way. Let's have a look. This looks traitory. Oh boy, that's pretty lame. If you want something, now's the time to talk. Okay. Persuasion and Barda. Uh, this is House Telvanni's seat. Sadrith Mora is not a friendly town. And she's not friendly either. Let's see what she's got for sale anyway. What do you got? You got any Imperial Dragon super stuff? That's what we're really after, right? No, nothing. A knife. Three torches. Some arrows. No, nothing really. She's got a good bit of gold. So is that the only trader in the place? What's this? This must be that, like, main council hall. Stone door. Bronze door to gateway in north wing. Oh, okay. Let's head through here. Ooh, nifty, man. Where are we, eh? That's a ship. Sadrith Mora. Can you only come here by ship or something? Interesting. Whoop, don't fall in the water. No, 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 no. Okay, there's more stuff up there. Let's go on board the ship and have a look. Let's see if it's a travel device. Well, let's, okay, let's see. Persuasion and travel. Yeah. And can we go down? It's locked. 
but you can enter it. So these are locked enterable locations on the ship. That's pretty cool, actually. That dock is pretty weird. There's another ship there, a rather lesser vessel. It looks like a light combat vessel of some kind. And not much of one either. It's pretty, pretty poor. Pretty poor. They're not good at boats here. That uh, other vessel looked a little more sound. Here's something with some flags on it. That's going to be the front door to this inn. Let's just see. So, danger. Danger. Welcome and danger. How strange is that? Okay. I'm Angar Redhill, the Prefect of Hospitality here at the Gateway Inn. Shall I tell you about my trade? Hospitality papers are an offer of work. What are hospitality papers? According to the collective articles of the Council of the Great House Telvanni, our outhouse and outlander guests in Sadrithmora may not travel in town or speak to or conduct business with citizens, tradesmen, or publicans unless they have hospitality papers. This is for the comfort and safety. 25 gold. Forget it. Pal, I'll talk to who I want to. I caution you, do not travel in town and speak to and conduct blah 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 until you have papers. Disrespect for the laws will not make you a welcome guest. Okay. Okay, interesting. Speak, traveler. Well, that's very interesting. Probably a good thing we didn't buy anything at the store then. Interesting place. Srava. What the hell? What are you doing here? Can you let Srava go free? I don't have the key, but. I suppose I could yeah, another slave bracer. So, yeah. Hmm, interesting. Persuasion and barter. They've got beds. I don't know if we need to sleep yet. What time is it? 8 p.m. actually. Uh, beds. 10 gold, yes. Second floor loft. And you know what? Screw your hospitality papers. I'm renting a bed. This is it? This had better not be the bed. You had better be doing for me better than that. Is this the second floor loft? North wing? Oh my god, where's my stupid bed? <laughs> what? So second floor loft, this is above the second floor, right? But Can you use this? Hammock. Yeah, it looks like we can, so... 8 p.m. we'll have a nice nine hour sleep. We were not awakened by a loud noise, that's kind of bonus. So we're well rested. Let's get out of this. Okay, not a friendly place, but uh, kind of an interesting place. How interesting a tourist. Oh my god. This place is quite interesting, isn't it? What's it made out of? I don't even fit through it. Weird. Who are you? Another slave. Jajasha, another slave. What's all this? Some crates. Hmm. Large round door. Oh, some more crates. Well, let's just shut that large round door. And get a little slick here and uh, move in on the crates. This doesn't count as trading, so it's not illegal. What do we got here? Uh, saleable is what we've got, eh? Let's try this one. Yeah, a couple bucks. Whatever, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. That door better still work. Oh, good. So there's a little looting to be done, but nothing much worth the uh, nothing much worth the name of it. And it's for some reason dark. I guess we put it very late at night. So let's take a look at our world map. See where we are. Oh. We're on an archipelago. Can we do this on foot? Can we cross this on foot? So, let's just take a look. Ah, it's probably a bad idea, eh? I don't know how far apart these islands are going to be. Let's go look. We're going the right way. Let's go look. We got Stompy handy. Let's go find out what the score is. It's good to explore. 
How many fish in these waters, eh? Let's just cross quick. Sploosh. Oh, we got splapper birds. We've got splapper birds. Well, if it'll stay put for us, then we're going to shoot it. Yeah, hi. I'm gonna freaking shoot you. Because you're stuck on a rock. My arrows are just going through the damn thing anyway, though. Come on, are you kidding me? What's the problem? Well, that arrow did a ton of damage. Ah, I don't know why I'm not hitting. It's not like our archery skill's that bad. We're at close range and the arrow's going directly into the thing's graphics, so... Does seem like a bit of a scam. Hey, there's, uh, speaking of scam, that's a scamp, isn't it? Should I try to peg it from here? It's kind of a thought, isn't it? Hey, little buddy. I have an arrow. Try a little higher. What's the range on this bow, eh? Looks like it's getting over there. <laughs> I don't know where it's going. A little high. Oh, we pegged him, man. I actually pegged him, eh? That's awesome, man. This thing has mega range on it, dude. A little higher. A little over. See if we can tag him again, eh? Hilarious. What if you get extra points for a, a super range hit, eh? Maybe a little higher. No, that's too high. I don't know how I hit him that first time, actually. Oh, no, down. Hilarious. That's too funny, man. Well, that went well. I guess that's where we go next. Yep, let's go. Since we already made a dent in its uh, defenses, we'll just go look at this island. Let's see what a scamp's corpse has normally. Can I even get up here? Do I have to use these steps, eh? Hey? These are steps for someone bigger than me. I can't climb that. I'd need a levitation potion. What the? Oh my god, we're gonna end up back in the water here. Okay, a bit of an issue. Let me up here, man. What the hell? Bit of an issue. Not fishing for call-ups. How do I get up this? Madness, man. There's the dead scamp. That explains why he didn't come down and come after me. This bloody thing's too steep to climb, even for a skilled acrobat such as ourselves. Isn't that strange? Well, which direction are we facing? Okay, let's keep going. Or we find another approach to it or something. Yeah, we do, too. We do find another approach to it, so that's good. And let's just see what a scamp's corpse has. It's got one of our arrows. Well, that's sort of good. Okay, so we want to kind of head... Well, this way's good enough, but... Oh, what do we got here? Looks like it's a wrecked ship. Oh, wow. There's a mud crab over there. Look at this. Oh, this is too cool. Yeah. Unknown shipwreck cabin. Wow. Okay, let's go in. Should we be sly? Uh, we're being observed. Now we're sly. Well, there's no one in here. It's just empty. Let's take a look around. A rug, some stuff. Doesn't look like there's a thing in here, does it? Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna try the downstairs of it, but that's probably gonna mean some swimming. I'm gonna guess that uh, this is gonna mean some swimming anyway, so let's go in. Alright. Uh, keep our eyes peeled, right? And there's the entrance to the lower decks. Let's just look in the water in here and see if we find anything good. No, it doesn't seem like it. No, we're going to have to go down one. I don't know if this is going to involve uh, using up one of our potions. Because this is going to be pretty much entirely bloody underwater down here. Where is that feral brute? I can't even see it. Oh, it's dead now. Waste of sword chargers, though, eh? Damn. 
Okay, well, let's go look in these boxes. An old axe. Nothing. Iron sword. Iron club. And a bunch of ingredients. Um, well, we'll take the stuff that's worth a buck, I guess. But now let's get out of here. We need to get some air quickly. And we'll just look around a bit more. Check that, yeah. We checked all this stuff. Yeah, I think we pretty much cleared it, haven't we? Unless I missed something back here. Oh yeah, there's one more barrel. Just more ingredients. Let's get out of here before we drown. Alright. Interesting, anyway. Definitely interesting. Oh, we took a little damage down there, unfortunately. Okay. This is pretty cool. Let's continue. Not making a lot of money doing this, but it's pretty damn fun. Oh, we got slaughterfish on us. I don't want to waste the sword on a slaughterfish, do I? Oh, that damn things are wrecking on us. Come on, leave me alone, you little brutes. Alright, there we go. That's better. Rotten little turkeys. Rotten little turkeys. What's this? It's a huge thingy. It's plants. Crashweed. And this is a blort. And we've still got some sort of semi-combat music going on here. Oh, we're still kind of going the right way, so we'll keep looking around. Oop, what's on us? Something's on us. I just don't know what. Oh, it's this mud crab. Yo, buddy. Yo, bud crab. See ya. Is it still on us? No, it definitely isn't. This is the most interesting area. I quite like it. Oh, that's a bit of a long drop, eh? I think we better use our little healing thing. Boom! <laughs> Probably should carry a spare weapon, eh? It's a bit of a waste of the amazing powers of the super sword, but we'll I'll have that all worked out at some point. I figure, you know, it doesn't matter if it's empty, it's still a darn good sword. It is a good sword. Um, and then eventually we'll start to get rich enough in soul gems that we'll be able to charge it for extreme combats when then they come up. Diseased mud crap. Yeah, but it's a shame to waste all those nice shots on the thing, on these little weasels. Anyway, we're heading right into the continent via this way. Now, I wonder if I'm going to end up actually accidentally killing the legendary trader mud crab, you know. Might do. We'll try not to. So, yeah, we'll keep heading along this way, I guess. Well, this is quite interesting. I think it was sort of worth going to Thedrith, Thedrith Mora. Because, uh, yeah, now we're exploring this area, which is a pretty trippy area. Just keep looking at these weird islands. Which do just keep coming. Uh, there's one of those filthy fishoids. Let's see if we can get a peg on him with the bow, eh? Hey, little guy. Toink right off the water. I don't know what the hell is that, eh? What? Okay. That's just a waste of arrows. We're just gonna go kill the damn thing right now. Hello? Are you already dead or something? Well, you are now. Get back out of this water. Gotta get back out of this water. Alright. That's good. Now, we haven't tackled a Natch yet. I don't know if it's worth it. We're heading to some bigger islands here, but... I think we're at a maximum operational Natch altitude here. It's pretty cool. They seem peaceful, though, so... Really no reason to attack something peaceful. Hey! Hi, folks! Who are you? How's it going? 
Mount of Zynab. I don't know you. What do you want? Um, background? I'm Mount of Zynab. Maverick Ash. My trait. We're the Ashlander Witch Warriors. Women who defy the man's rules of behavior for women. Mastering the man's weapons of war and the sorcerer's powerful magics. Craven men whine that we steal their vital essences to feed our dark purposes. But men are fools and cowards. Only women can understand the secret of ghost, the ghost snake and its hidden mysteries that make men tremble like maidens. Cool. Well, no problem. Oh, except you have been killing people. Here's Arlo. He has the ban hammer, worth 50. Pretty nice weapon. A little fire damage on it. We're not going to take it. It's too heavy. We are going to look in your barrels. You can't stop us. I don't know you. What do you want? And yeah, she'll be another warrior. And they do have themselves a corpse here, so... Yeah, that's a little strange. Should I go in their little house? I probably should go in their little house, eh? Ah, let's go in the yurt. Hey, there's someone in here and a whole bunch of other stuff. Kausha Mantagshi. I don't believe I've seen an Imperial with such a grand outfit. Uh, my trade. Which warriors? What do they got in I'm here? Go Ashiams. What's in the chest? Nothing interesting. No, they don't have any really interesting stuff. They're not rich. Look in the urn. I like their little bamboo wind chime. Hey, this is cool. I like that. I don't know about their whole little murder cult thing. That might be an issue. We'll see. Let's head for this other land, uh, land item over here. I'll try to keep the water crossings as short as possible, because the damn slaughterfish do chew a hole in us over time, eh? Grazelands region. Okay, well, let's just cast our little healing spell. And continue. Grazelands, huh? It's a new it's a new area for us. It's also a bit steep to get over this, so we're gonna actually have to go around it. And there we got it. God damn things. Nasty little brutes. Whoa, that's a big niche. Yes, sir, it is. Alright, Grazelands region, here we come. Nice. Yes, indeed. I guess we are. Oh, we got a problem. Something's on us. Whoa, hey! Oh my god. We're not diseased or nothing. That guy was just nuts. Why are you coming up on me like that for? Keep looking around. You obviously find some secret things here and there in this cave. That little camp was pretty cool, eh? Well, let's keep looking. Maybe those islands are full of secrets. I don't know. This is interesting seeming. There's nothing here, really, but it's a giant mushroom tree, all right. It's another really big niche. This looks like some sort of eggish thing. This is an area of large naturey. So, over there, that's the mainland, I guess, eh? There's more islands to the west, so... We could enter the mainland to the north. I think that, I think we will go ahead and enter the mainland to the north here. I think that's gonna be the way to rock it. Maybe we'll find another city or a fort or something. <laughs> kinda hope we will, because eventually we're gonna get into some danger. Something's attacking, but I don't know what. That's okay, we're cruising. Kinda wish you could get a better view distance in this game, but that's it. She's cranked. Uh, I suppose if I ran the upgraded Morrowind stuff... Oh, look at this nonsense. This doesn't look safe at all. Let's go and look at this. This does not look safe at all. What? What's that on top of it? What is that, dude? What is that? Look at the shape of that thing. That is frantically not human. I think that's a Daedroth. I think that's a freaking Daedroth, man. I think that's a freaking Daedroth, and if that's a Daedroth, what is this place? This is probably not a safe place to be. 
Well, we're gonna come up here sly and sneaky like, eh? Come up here sly and sneaky like and crawl that Daedroth. Where is he? Okay. Yep. Oh, this isn't good. Oh no, this isn't good. Uh, we're gonna grab down some. Uh, uh, where's our cheap restore health? That. Have to hit another one. And we're gonna hit another one. Or we're gonna do our powers. Okay, this place is freaky. Kind of figure someone's gonna come out at some point, eh? Come on. Now let's get some hit points. Hey, nice. Okay, so we got our hit points. Let's repair our rig, because it probably got absolutely mashed. Nope, didn't. And pull Stompy. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll swag a Restore Magicka right now. Okay, now we're going to find out what's going on around this place a little bit, eh? So the Daedroth, nothing on him. Whoa. Worshipper. Ah, oh, they've got a rising force and a restore health, so those are good. Good thing you didn't use the damn restore health, too. Okay, let's see what these doors are. This is freaky, dude. Indoranion Propylon Chamber. Okay. Starting to get more and more interesting. And this is Indoranion, and it's a note to Telvon. Stay out. This place has some sort of enchantment on it. I only got out because I cast a mark spell here before I went inside. Meet me back in Foss. We'll have to seek our fortune elsewhere. I'm taking that. Yeah, okay. So... Interesting. Propylon chamber or main entrance first? Propylon chamber first. We'll stay in combat view. Going on. Oh my god, what the hell is this? That's very interesting. What happens if I go into that? You do not have the index for this propylon. You do not have the index for this propylon. It's some kind of transport system, I'll guess. Probably. That's okay. Let's go back out. We're obviously going in here. I mean, straight up, we have to. But, uh,. Man, this looks pretty dangerous. Let's go around this. Take a look at it. Yeah, I think we're proceeding into extremely severe danger, but, uh... And our sword has doodle all charges, too. That's okay. We're going in. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It's quite a chaotic interior here. Slide up. Wow, this is very odd. Okay. Well, interesting. Probably don't want to fall off. It could be a little dangerous down in the water. Could be crawling with those big slorty things, whatever they're called. Drill. Could be crawling with drill. Looks like we might have to make a jump. You know. I'm one for jumps. I like them. So, go ahead and, uh, whoa, uh, just about fell. Just about fell. So, up and make the jump and down. Okay. Chest. A little money. Now, what was over that way? I don't know. We'll be back. Oh, it's another one of those. Let's try to creep it. Down that way. Nasty. Okay, dangerous heart. Ooh, worth a buck. Okay. 
too sure. Not too sure here, man. That guy's probably gonna have ranged magic, eh? But we might try bow shot anyways. Oh, way over his head. Missed badly. What is the problem here? Can't shoot worth a damn. Nipped him. Nipped him real good. And he hasn't seen us, so it's just arrows in the bloody dark. Down. Okay. That's not a massive monster sitting there, no, it's a structure of some kind. Wow, this is terrifying, dude. Gonna stomp you back out here. That goes off that way. That's another jump. We're getting in deep here, man. We're getting in deep. Steel short sword. We are getting in very deep. I don't know how we're gonna get back out. So do we go this way? Do we go ahead? I think we go ahead into the ever more terrifying depths here. Yeah, recall spell indeed. Maybe we should grab those arrows. I might run short. But yeah, I think I will. Okay, Sharpo. Standard rising force. Oh, of course, that's how we get out. That's how we get out, is using the rising forces. Makes perfect sense. Okay, we got some dudes here, so I'm gonna try shooting again. Oh, okay. We are some sneaky deekies. Man, we're also a really bad shot with our bow, eh? However, we're quite pleased with how that went. Oh, we're out of arrows. They're gonna come here? They're stuck. We actually have time to equip arrows. Uh, we'll grab the spark arrows out. We're still sneaky too, eh? Big old Aedra statue going down. Oh, we got another dude. Okay, there's some. Maybe I have to turn the AI distance back up higher again. It's a little funny about how all these guys aren't seeing us. I mean, it works for me, but. Man, that bow is doing some harm out there, man. I'd say that was probably the defensive forces for this particular spot. I wouldn't be surprised if a Daedra Lord showed up in a minute or two, though. Worshippers. Got some boiled natch and an iron dagger. Ah, there's one of our silver arrows. Take it back. Got another little rising force potion here. Definitely take that. Short bow, some junk. That one, that one. There were four of these guys, right? Yeah, there were four of these guys, weren't there? There's one more around here. And we've got uh, another Rising Force and another Restore Health. Those are great. Uh, I don't know where the other dude went. So, and I don't know where we're headed next, but I think we're going to go deeper gonna go deeper so we have to get it back up onto this so just F5 quickly and then we're gonna go for this jump and we're good and we'll head up this way yeah this place is quite the maze eh it's interesting and I don't think we're in the building part of it I have a feeling that we're actually rather undergroundish right now so well, we'll see where it all ends up terrifying though oh hi don't mind me, buddy. Don't mind me. Don't mind me and don't turn around. Don't mind me and don't turn around. Basically, don't do... 
Oh, we're not sneaky. Oh, now we are. Dedramora. Left us a Dwarven Warhammer. A little on the heavy side, but we're going to take it for now. Got to have some loot. Oh, okay, so we're up above the statue now, eh? Alright. Then that leads us to this next pathway here. Okay. I'm game. And I fell. And we're dead. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ooh, the sound has changed. Yes, indeed, the sound has changed. That's odd. Well, Morrowind's a gimpy old thing. Now it really does sound like we're in the boiling bowels of the earth, though. But we got a dude over that way. Let's just check over here, though. What we got over here? More stuff. More stuff. Man, never-ending stuff. Oh, no, that's the original water room, isn't it? So, okay. Just continue along here. And we'll see about this feller me ladio. I hope we got arrows equipped. Now we seem to be pulling real sideways, but uh We nabbed him, but I think he healed. Darn, he's taking a long time to get here. Oh, that was like a headshot right there, man. I got a feeling this person might be extremely powerful. Oh no, no, no. Over-encumbered. Over-encumbered. We need a restore strength potion immediately. Oh no, he increased our encumbrance load somehow. Okay, well that's... You keep summoning, buddy. He's draining fatigue and summoning, and we're just going to keep... Uh, how come I'm not running? You're not getting away. What is going on here? Where'd he go? Where is everyone? He's quite the powerful one. Oh, he's selling something really unpleasant there. Oh, it unsummoned with his death, so... And we got other guys trapped down in the water, and their summonings are trapped in the water, so we're just gonna take some freaking shots, hey? Whoa! Why? Why, game? Why? Stupid... What is going on now? I can't swim? Now I can't swim. Now I can't move. Come on, stop messing with me. Oh my god, that was an absolute wreckage. Okay, we're going to leave the clan fear down there and we're going to go find Buddy here. Oh, if we can at all do so. Oh, come on. Oh, this room is torture. Yeah, this room is kind of torture. I think what happened to me was I hit Q and started auto-running. That was my problem. So where's this other summoner gone? Did he run away? Like, I mean, what's going on in here? That clan fear is stuck in the water. We're going to leave him for the moment. Let's see if we can... Oh, come on. What? Let's see if we can find this other guy in here. Where did he go, right? Oh, what is with this room? This is nasty. It's so hard to move around. Okay, so we got a door to somewhere, and we don't know where Bucko went. There was another human running around in here. I don't know what they've done or where they went. 
Well, we're gonna need to kill that clan fear and search Buddy's body, so gotta go do it right now. So that's weird. Are they both in the water or something? Oh, they are. Okay, clan fear down. Now let's go get Chumbus here. So it's like, will you come back, please? Man, he just keeps on swimming. He's finally dead. Okay, let's catch a breath. Let's search him. Blood Despair Amulet absorbs willpower. Nice. That's probably what was hitting us, eh? Some money. A robe, shoes. A decent ring. Fortify Magicka. Fortify Speed. And a few soul gems. Probably should have tried our trapping soul. Scroll in here. Oh boy, I better save game. Now, what about this guy? Come on, where's... How do I search the other dead dude here? Because I want to be sure and search them because... Oh, these are both dead clan fears. Oh, and they've got Daedra hearts? They're also going to drown us if we don't watch. Drew Club, uh, Dangerous Heart, all right, we'll take those. Okay, they did not have any of the stuff we might have hoped, but... This guy's got a Ring of Sanguine Unseen Wisdom, Fortify Mysticism, five points, constant effect, plus it's worth quite a buck. Yeah, we'll take his Silver Short Sword for extra gold. All right, that was entertaining, let's proceed. Oh no, now I have to get back out of the stupid water in here. It's virtually impossible. Yeah, they did make that annoying. Well, it's to make it more difficult to do the combat in here, basically, so whatever. Yeah, you have to follow precise routes to not get stuck or fall, so yeah, that's fine. I'm down. Let's do some item repair here. That would be very wise. Got bashed around a fair bit there. So, done. F5 ourselves. Crouch down into sneak. And what's in here? That's an exit. What the hell? Oh. That's where we came in. Well, you know, I know there's more to this. What if we can safely sleep in the propylon chamber? Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Rest until healed. Yep. Well, guys, I think we're going to leave you here in the propylon chamber. Hope you had fun with us here today. And see you all very soon for the next one. Till that time, bye for now.